and strong to the finish, cause I eat me spinach, I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be going over my favorite protein powders that I do use regularly. I do not recommend supplementing meals with protein powders. Protein powders are still processed as healthy as they can be and it is always best to be ingesting proper food items in your diet. So I do recommend using protein powders to help supplement certain meals or certain days where you might not be getting an adequate amount of protein. There is a general rule of thumb to be consuming a minimum of your body weight in pounds in grams of protein per day in your diet. Now there are certain research items that have come out since then that do not say that is the best rule of thumb going, but personally, I think that's an excellent gauge to go by to just ensure that you're getting at least an adequate amount of protein. Now there are differences between protein and complete proteins. If you picture each cell in your body as a house, its own individual little house, Complete proteins are what make the walls of that house strong and sturdy. So if you're not getting complete proteins, you can imagine your walls of your cells to be built more like plywood. Complete protein would make sure that is strong, concrete, healthy, all right? So that's the best analogy I have to explain a complete protein. How do you know if a protein is complete? you can tell if it has nine essential amino acids. I have written the nine essential amino acids down below for you, so you can check out that list. So that covers that. Why do I not agree with whey? So whey is essentially the dairy industry's garbage. So that's dead, dead food. Not so great for us. The dairy industry, super smart, thought, hey, we can make money on this. So what we're gonna do is dry out all that solid and then we can make it into whey. That became a booming industry. Whey protein powders contain hormones from these animals. Antibiotics these animals are taking. This is not great for you. It unbalances our own body's hormones. We are consistently bombarded day after day with different factors from our environments that mess with our hormones and especially in our diet. Our body is constantly trying to maintain a state of homeostasis, otherwise known as its balance. Let's not add to the heavy weight our body's already dealing with with whey. Whey causes acne, it can contribute to hormones that cause cancer in the body. Whey is just no bueno. So I use vegan protein. No, I am not a vegan, but I do appreciate vegan protein, plant-based proteins, anything that doesn't contain whey. Whey is highly inflammatory. You are going to be fighting off inflammation when you're consuming whey. If you are a very thin person, or even if you're not really that thin, but you do notice a bulge between the pubic bone and the belly button, so below the belly button, that is a clear indication that there is inflammation going on in your intestines, which can lead to all kinds of other issues. Comment down below if you'd like more information on that, and I will be happy to help you out. So, without further ado, here are my favorite protein powders. Sprouted protein. This one is made with brown rice. So this is brown rice, amaranth, quinoa, millet, and pumpkin seed. Organic, raw, sprouted, non-GMO. I get this from my local grocery store, which is Fortino's here in Canada. I am sure you could find this online. The company is called Iron Vegan, so you can check that out. So this is organic, gluten-free, certified vegan, natural chocolate flavor. One scoop, macros, 90 calories, 17 grams of protein, four grams of carbs, one gram of fat, complete protein. This is Sun Warrior Classic Protein, also chocolate. I love chocolate, but I can't eat it because then I'll get fat. This one is just brown rice. So the macros on this, 80 calories per 21 gram scoop, zero fat, four grams of carbs, and 16 grams of protein. This is also a complete protein containing all nine essential amino acids, no chemicals, fillers, or artificial ingredients. 
You can also get over 50 free smoothie recipes at their website. Check out sunwarrior.com for this guy. This I get from a health food store near me called Goodness Me. It is also at Whole Foods. This is what it looks like. Check out your local health food grocery store for Sun Warrior. Next, Purium. Okay, Purium, in my opinion, is the best of the best of the best. Check out Perium.com for details. If you would like a coupon code or a $50 gift card, should I say, comment down below and I'd be happy to give you that. This isn't the protein one, this is the power shake. I'm so sorry. I ran out of the protein shake bucket a while ago. Check out the protein shake of this on Perium.com. This is unbelievably great. It would be a complete protein. This is just the best of the best of the best. There's more info on Curium on why. Moving on, because that was, whoops. Anyway, Costco. This is Lean Fit is the company, and it is complete green organic protein, plant-based organic protein, vanilla bean flavor this time, GMO-free, gluten-free, vegan, soy-free. Soy is also inflammatory. It's not have soy. This is also a complete protein. So for one scoop, which is 34 grams, we get 100 calories, zero fats, seven grams of carbs, 21 grams of protein. This one again is from Costco. Check it out. Again, Costco Canada. I'm not quite sure if Costco in States has this. Check it. So this has got organic vegan fit, plant protein, pea protein, hemp, flax seed, brown rice, and chia seed protein. So this is super foody. This I get from Sobeys. This is also at Fortino's. This is also at a few other different grocery stores. Check the higher name grocery stores, not so much the no frills or lower, lower name stores. I don't think they'll carry it. Fermented is huge. It makes everything more bioavailable slash better absorbed by the body in the gut. So fermented vegan proteins plus advanced digestive support. So no bloating from this guy. Okay. Amazing. Fermented to maximize protein and nutrient absorption. You could be drowning yourself in protein and not absorbing it if you have extra inflammation in the gut and other such things. So this is natural coconut flavor, gluten-free, non-GMO, natural and clean, 100% vegan. For one scoop, which is 27.3 grams, we get 110 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, four grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein. I always try to find a protein powder that is in and around at least 20 grams, okay? Yellow pea kernel protein, brown rice seed protein, general health fermented vegan protein blend, quinoa sprouts, hemp seed, alfalfa juice protein, organic spirulina, mung bean sprouts. This is also totally a superfood. Those would be my favorites. You can look any of the companies up online and see if you can get these online. You can also get each of these on Amazon. Just make sure you're staying away from whey if you wanna be optimally healthy, reduce the amount of bloating you have, just healthier overall. If you thought this video was helpful or informative in any way, please do give it a thumbs up for me down below. Please subscribe to this channel. Subscribing really is where the support does come from. If you would like a notification of the next time I do post a video, please hit that little bell icon down there and you will be sent a notification each time a new video is uploaded. Please check out the other videos on this channel and share this channel. There is information in this channel that will help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenges. Challenge. Until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun getting the right protein in your system. And I'll see you next time. Bye.